Chuck with Silencer Central. I want to talk to you today about traveling with your firearms and your suppressors, mainly flying. Um, you know, we are lucky we get to fly all over the United States, shooting guns, hunting, and everywhere we go, we have to fly with our guns and our suppressors. There's no shipping them there. They go with us and our persons. So the first and foremost thing you have to do is have a TSA approved gun case. And most of these are going to classify as oversized baggage. So when you get to the airport, you're going to have to declare that you have a firearm and it's all then they're usually going to send you to the oversized baggage. Um, when you get to the airport, after you declare your firearm, you're going to have to open it up and show the, the agent exactly what you have in the case. What I like to do is separate my suppressor from my firearm, take it off the host weapon and leave it in here just where they can see that that suppressor is in here, it's secure and it's safe and it's off the firearm. Secondly, your ammunition. You're allowed to carry your ammunition in the case with you, but the ammunition has to be in the factory boxes. You can't have loose ammunition in the case. You can't have ammunition in the magazines, um, or you just can't have it floating around in a, in a Ziploc bag in here. It has to be in the factory cases, and they won't give you no problems. Uh, most of the time, I think all your airlines are going to allow you up to 10 pounds of ammo, which is a lot, especially with, for high-powered rifles or pistols. On your TSA-approved gun case, it's going to have holes for TSA-approved locks. Um, the rule of thumb is, is ever how many holes that your case has for a lock that has to have a lock in it. This one has one on each end, so that's two to keep this case from being opened by someone else. Some gun cases are going to have four, and there's some smaller gun cases that have a sliding rod. They only have one lock. So just make sure when you're getting a TSA-approved gun case that you have enough TSA-approved locks for each hole. We're lucky we get the opportunity to fly a lot with suppressors and guns and we've never had an issue. I personally fly out of Atlanta and they have one of the strictest TSAs I've ever seen, um, which is great because it makes me feel good. I know they're doing their job and keeping everyone safe on that airline. If you'll follow these guidelines, you're not gonna have any issues, but it's always a safe call to call your airline ahead and ask if they have any changes in their gun or suppressor rules. Hunting with suppressors just makes it more fun, more enjoyable. And that's what it's all about, is getting more people shooting and getting more people outdoors. So go to silencercentral.com or give them a call today to get yours.